This is going to be a very quick and easy tutorial for Paper ZD animations that are one-offs. So they just fire once and then immediately they return to your, your idle or previous animation. So they're really, really easy to do. They uh, get triggered through a jump node. So say for this case, we're doing a, a dash. That sends us into our animation state. We'll call this dashing. And then in here, we're going to play our dash animation, select the animation, turn off looping, go back to our state machine, set up our transition and our transition rule. Time remaining on dash, zero. So what this will do is when you trigger the jump node in your code that you've hit the, the key for dashing, it will fire off the animation once. And as soon as it's finished running the animation, immediately return to your default state. Another one is uh, if you're hurt or if you're doing a slide or in the case of a death animation, For this one, you don't set up a return to anything. You just leave it like this and the anime, it will just sit there at the end of the, of the last frame of the dying animation and not go anywhere. And then, you know, your game's logic will reload the level or whatever it does after a death. So for a dash or a slide or a hurt animation or anything, you just do it just like this, actually like this. And for a death animation, you do something like that. And that's all there is to it. So if we go in here and huh. we dash, huh. slide, huh. Huh. hurt, huh. hurt a bunch of times. almost there. And the death animation and then it just stops and the level reloads so you can see one-off animations really really easy to set up as i said this is just going to be a really quick one hope you guys found it helpful have a good one